Prince Harry will miss sense of duty and beg to rejoin royal family dash shock claim. Prince Harry will beg to rejoin the royal family within the next few years because he will miss the sense of duty that comes with the role, a royal expert has claimed. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle shocked royal fans when they announced their intention to step back as senior royals in January. The statements released from the Sussexes in the weeks that followed have indicated there is a clear rift between the couple and the rest of the royal family, which only seems to be worsening. Harry returned to the UK last week and Meghan is expected to soon join him so they can carry out their final duties before officially leaving their royal roles. Royal watchers will be particularly interested to see the Sussexes' first official appearance with their relatives since their so-called Declaration of Independence on Commonwealth Day next Monday. Although the couple's move appears to be more definite than ever, analyst Daniel Wilde claimed that Harry would return to the firm soon. A few weeks ago, the representative from the Institute of Public Affairs told Sky News Australia, to answer the question, how long can it go for? I think just a few years before their star burns out. Really, at the end of this, there's a lot of pushback against celebrities being hypocrites on climate change and there are no greater hypocrites than Harry and Meghan being the mouthpiece for it. So I suspect this will last a couple of years and then I wouldn't be surprised if Harry was beginning to rejoin the royal family and reassume the duties. Sky News' Andrew Bolt added, despite this tantrum, Someone like Harry has been bred into duty. I know he doesn't like it, being the second son, second to the heir, it's always awkward, but one day he'll miss the sense of duty. Discussing the matter in light of the Queen's shocked decision to ban the use of the Sussex royal brand, Mr. Bolt commented, there's not much sense of duty or reckoning in the royals getting money. Royal photographer Arthur Edwards told The Sun last week that he thought Harry would end up back in the royal fold, too. He said, he's going to find life, as most of us do, pretty tough. He's 35 and he's never had to do anything like this. He may wish he had never gone down that road, who knows. But of course, it's what his wife wants and I think what Meghan wants, as they say, Meghan gets and he's so in love with her he will do anything to keep her happy. He added, Unfortunately, we are going to lose him for a little while. I just hope it's not going to be for too long. I don't think they will stay there forever. I think they'll be coming back more and more and I think Harry will miss it, I think he will miss the life of the family. However, Harry has indicated several times over the last few years that he has struggled with the obligations that come with being a royal. He has claimed he considered leaving the royal family years before he met Meghan, when he returned from one of his Afghanistan tours. He shocked royal fans in 2017 too, when he was interviewed by Newsweek and revealed that the whole royal family is reluctant to take on the role of monarch. He said, We are involved in modernizing the British monarchy. We are not doing this for ourselves but for the greater good of the people. Is there any one of the royal family who wants to be king or queen? I don't think so, but we will carry out our duties at the right time. During the interview, he revealed several times that he wanted to have another identity, instead of just being Prince Harry. Queen Elizabeth Disappointment, Monarch Sad Prince Harry, Meghan wouldn't bring Archie to UK. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not bring their son Archie along with them when they return to the United Kingdom this month. According to the Sunday Times, Archie will stay back in Canada while his parents attend their final royal engagements. Meghan is leaving Archie in Canada for this trip. When the Duchess of Sussex returns to the UK from Canada for a final round of engagements with Prince Harry, who arrived last week, she is expected, again, to leave behind their nine-month-old son, a source said. But it is important to note that this isn't the first time that Prince Harry and Markle left Archie behind. In January, the royal couple flew to the United States to attend a J.P. Morgan event. At that time, Archie was also left under the care of his nannies and security team. The source also said that Queen Elizabeth is very sad to learn that she wouldn't get to see her great-grandson in London anytime soon. The news will be disappointing for the Queen and the royal family who are understood to be very sad that they have seen so little of Archie since his birth, the source said. Last year, 
A source told Us Weekly that Kate Middleton has also expressed her desire for her children to spend more time with their cousin. At that time, Prince Harry and Markle haven't announced their decision to quit the royal family. After their bombshell announcement, it has become clear that Middleton and Prince William's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis will have fewer opportunities to bond with Archie. While speaking with Cosmopolitan, royal author Katie Nichol questioned Markle and Prince Harry's decision to keep their son away from his cousins and royal relatives. Nichol said that in the future, it would be possible for Archie to make the decision to forge a close relationship with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, and their other relatives.